always kind of been the like second place. Oh, you're good, but, and there's always a but. She's got a great athleticism. She's very fast. I'm not this second tier athlete. Her grit stands out. I plan on earning that spot. So my daily routine starts at 4.05. Usually, I wear my high elevation mask. Work out for two hours. Come home, make my meals for the day, and get on the train, go to work. Basically, I'm a hippie that likes math. have a graduate who is going to train for the Olympic rugby team and we're thinking about doing a flexible assignment. We hired Amanda into the Renewable Energy Development Program. She's just willing to do whatever it takes. I walked on to the Penn State women's soccer team spring of my freshman year ended up winning the 2015 national championship. My coach put her hand on my back. I was like, oh, they're cutting me. They thought I was a really good athlete and that rugby always looks for players. My initial impression of Amanda was uh, her grit, I think. Um, it stands out. To be on the USA Rugby team is the best job in the world. You wake up every day knowing that you're going to go see 28 of your best friends. We're literally asking them to do the most difficult thing, to come into a Olympic team environment. So I found out I was being cut from rugby. Oh, you're good, but... When you have top talent, you want to do anything you can to keep it. She's got a great athleticism, she's very fast. She's got kind of a trifecta of, of attributes. Super competitive. My end goal is to make the USA women's camp. So things can change at any time, and what seems like the end of the world could be the beginning of a new one. <laughs>